This is a video I shot while I was bringing up a demo of an old 905 CRT for the Vintage Tech Museum. The first thing you need to drive a CRT is high voltage and so we found a uh, tube type plate transformer with a 420 volt winding. I wired up a simple voltage doubler which gave us about 1100 volts DC. And in the donation pile of the museum was a a phenolic board must have come out of an old oscilloscope with some multi mega ohm resistors and multi mega ohm pots that were already wired up pretty much to uh, create the voltage divider for a CRT. Here I am firing up the CRT for the first time, checking for the glow of the filament. It has a two and a half volt, two amp filament. The power transformer had a 5 volt center tap winding for a rectifier, so we used that half of that winding for the 2.5 volts for the filament for the CRT. And here I am finally bringing up the high voltage and the, CR and the filament to get a spot on the CRT. The deflection plates are all connected, just connected together and connected to the second anode. No deflection signal. Should be a centered spot. But the, that's the intensity control and it seemed to have a fod, odd effect on the shape. The focus control varied the spot size, but the intensity control also varied the spot size and the spot shape. A little closer view of the CRT and the spot. Data sheet handy there on the bench. 905 is a nice choice for a demo because uh, it doesn't have an AquaDag coating inside. So you can see everything inside the uh, all the elements of the CRT. Here's a view from the back. Not many CRTs. You can look at the screen from the back through the envelope. I'm varying the intensity and focus controls to try to minimize the spot. Now I'm uh, just wiggling a really strong little magnet near the near the screen and see what effect it has on the beam. There's just a close-up of the setup, the voltage divider and board, the CRT, and uh, two deflection amplifiers I designed and had printed circuit boards made, and a low voltage, an intermediate voltage power supply. Filament transformer on the right there is, uh, in fact, you can see in this view the filament transformer is gone because it turns out we didn't need it because we had the filament winding from the big transformer. And here's the first image on screen, and you can see it's swimming quite a bit. It's a combination of magnetic interference and also the variation, as it turns out, in the accelerating potential. 1100 volts had about 100 volts of ripple on it. There's also a strobing effect from the shutter of the video camera. Another view of the setup. That supply up above is uh, supplies 300 volts for the deflection and 12 volts, plus minus 12 volts also for the deflection amplifier and 5 volts for the little microprocessor that's actually driving the, to produce the images. Again, you can see the view from the back of the CRT, back of the screen. And it's actually, the, the image on the back is brighter because the light doesn't have to go through the phosphor. 
modern CRTs uh, have a uh, s uh, luminized screen to reflect the light back toward the front. Here's the power supply ripple on the high voltage on the accelerating potential, about 100 volts. It was so, it was affecting the display so much that I finally uh, abandoned that 60 hertz scheme and built a little power supply using leftover parts from a 321 oscilloscope. Here again is the view from the back. You can see it's brighter than the view from the front. But I built a high voltage supply from 321 high voltage supply parts. But in, instead of the quintupler that the 321 has to generate 3000 some volts, I just used a doubler to generate about 1400 volts. And here's the actual display case with all the parts mounted in it. And I was doing a test of the, of the deflection system, and I connected uh, two, my scope up in uh, XY mode and differential mode, looking at the outputs, just to prove that the uh, wiggle that was seen in the image wasn't caused by my 300-volt uh, um, deflection amp supply. This is a little higher signal output, lower scope gain, even more stable image. Here again is it mounted, the CRT mounted in its display case in the back of the power supplies. But even with the new high voltage supply the, the uh, picture still wiggles and it's because of magnetic interference a lot probably from the transformer that's used as the filament transformer. Here's the unit uh, in place, in its place of honor beside the other CRTs on display at the museum. I'm at, you may see, notice that I'm actually using what should be the horizontal deflection plates for vertical deflection. You normally use the plates closer back, closer to the gun for ver vertical to get better vertical sensitivity, but I didn't have a sensitivity issue. And the CRT was easier to see the, the uh, elements in the neck with the CRT rotated 90 degrees so that the getter area was underneath. This is a little close-up of the deflection amplifiers, actually the little uh, microprocessor and Atmel 328 that's driving, uh, or Atmega 328 that's driving the uh, display to produce the demo. Uh, 